everyone. Thank you to join us. Today we're going to talk about Project Online and Power Automates. How can we use the Project API to work with Power Automates? The idea here is create a project snapshot that every week the Power Automates run and copy the information that we have in our projects. For example, start date, finish date, start, baseline start, baseline finish, and save in the list right here with all information that we need. Project name, per percent complete, etc. Okay, let's do it. So first, let's create a schedule flow. Click here, we give a name, project snapshots. We can define the starting, the time that we want to run. Here the idea is weekly. And let's select here to run every Saturday. Okay, this is the recurrence. Now we're gonna need the project online actions that list every project that we have here. Project online. Okay, here we have list projects. We can just paste our EWA URL and voila, we have all projects selected. Okay, after we get the information about the projects, we're gonna use a SharePoint HTTP request. So you can use the API of our project online to bring us information. So here we select the project environment here is the method get and you use old data selected. I'm gonna paste here. Well, now we have a old data selection here. And then we put some headers to JSON. Okay, content type here. And accept. Okay, right? With these informations here, we can rename it, get uh, project data. Okay, after that, we're gonna use the control call it apply for each. What these actions do? He splits the information of each value that we have, we're gonna receive here. So we're gonna use the expression. So we're gonna use the expression here body get project data okay and for every value that this query returns we will split for us okay let's test first of all we save and test manually okay let's run this flow run successfully and you can see here they bring us nine different projects okay now we're gonna use another information we're gonna bring the baseline informations we're gonna use again the http request 
and use the same PWA. Now we're going to use another OData query and let's use the project baseline is API, right? And here we're going to use the information. First, we need to rename here. Let's use get projects. Okay. And here you, you, we send the project guide. How can you do that? You can here use expressions called items. Over get project. And project ID. So for every project ID that we returns here, it will inform here. Okay, let's use again the informations of headers, content type. So you can treat the data in the HTTP informations. Let's rename our get project baseline data. Voila. And now we can split again. Use control again. Sorry, apply to each. Is the same expression body get project baseline data value and okay and test oh sorry let's rename here one more time get these lines and test from flow and voila we get all the baseline informations okay after we get all the information let's create the item into the our sharepoint list so you have here create item gonna insert the url here we have here our snapshot data let's use expression to items here we have sorry get project and we have project name let's copy this and just here we have the project percent complete. Completed. And the information about performed. Project. Start date and project finish date. Okay, this is the information that we get in the first old data, and now we have the second old data that brings us the baseline data. So I'm gonna change the expression project. baseline data and then we're gonna put here project baseline 
let me check baseline start date and finish date Okay, let's save and and one more time, save and test. And now it's running. It's running, it's getting all the informations and after it gets all the information about the nine items. Sorry, you just need to inform the correctly field here. Update. Just insert the and okay. Now it's working. It's running. Let me check if we get some no errors. And voila, we have all snapshots here. Okay, thank you. See you.